Hi everyone, I'm Catherine with Gracie Designs and this is Mornings with Gracie. So today we're going to be making corsages. These are very quick and easy to make and they're great for any special occasion, whether it's a birthday, anniversary, holiday, or perhaps just to tell someone that you're thinking about them. And the best part is because they're made out of silk and satin, you can keep them forever. The supplies you're going to need are floral tape, wire cutters, silk flowers and or satin, whichever um, flowers you'd like to use, some leaves and some uh, rosettes to fill in, ribbon and uh, a wristlet if you want to wear it on your wrist or a pin if you want to um, place it on your dress. You will also need an extra piece of wire and a scissor. This piece is very basic. Um, you can always add some more flowers or a tool or change the size of the ribbon. Um, but I'm just going to basically show you how to build your corsage. You can make a corsage for any occasion. You can use any color, any flowers, any ribbon. Um, you can get creative. To get started on the corsage, we're going to take two leaves and the large flower. Place them like that. And we're going to take our tape and we're gonna start down about halfway down the wire. And we're going to start spinning And really tightly, we want to do this so they don't slide. And this is how we begin to make our stem. We're going to do this right up to the bottom of the leaves. Like that. Next, we're going to take a red flower. We're going to put it right in front there. And we're just going to give it a little wrap, put it in place. Then we're going to take, we'll take the yellow. We'll put that a little higher than the red one. And again, we'll give it a little wrap, put it in place. And then I'm going to take um, pink one, pink one, and we're going to do that one even a little higher. Now this is just to kind of tack it in the spot that you want it. We're going to cover up all this wire when we're finished with the um, floral tape. So we're kind of building up um, a little floral to the side of the large flower. Gives it a pretty look. Just keep spinning. And we have these four flowers that will be on the side of the corsage. Next, we're going to add uh, two more leaves. And again, that's going to be a little up high. And we're going to add both of them at the same time. And I'm going to spin that floral tape just to tack them in place. A couple of spins. Now we have all four leaves attached. Now we're going to use some of these filler roses. Put that down, lift these up. These little rosettes come in a couple of different sizes. But I like the tiny ones for this project, since this isn't going to be a large corsage. 
and I'm not sure if I want to put them there or if I want to put them up here. I think I'm going to split them up. I'm going to put three down at the bottom. Drop those down here. And attach those. And then I'm going to take the other three and I'm going to place them up high. Uh, I gotta do it in the back, so we have to just make sure it's high enough for them to be seen. Again, spin, <laughs> spin that corsage. Okay, so I'm gonna break the tape for now and just kind of move it around a little bit so you can see how everything was placed. So as you can see, it's being built and I'm going to make my ribbon. And we'll, uh, I'm going to start by folding it over. It's about, about three to four inches. And I'm gonna go back again and loop it and loop it again. And then loop it again. So you have two, four loops. We'll do we'll do three on each side. And we will cut the ribbon. So now we're going to use our extra piece of wiring, and we're going to place it in the middle of the ribbon and then fold it in half over that. And we're going to spin or twist that wire very tightly. And it makes a little poof of a ribbon, which we're gonna put at the bottom here on our corsage. Underneath the rows, a little bit there, and rosettes. And again, now we're going to use our floral tape on the side here and fasten that to the corsage as well. So now we're going to finish the bottom part of the corsage. Uh, we're going to trim some of these wires. We don't really want this stem too long because it'll poke our wrist. And then we're going to fold it over. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, we're folding it over so that the pointy ends are not going to be sticking out when we continue to wrap this tape over it. Okay, so we'll start by the leaf and work our way down and twist on all that wire. Make sure it's folded in because you don't want it sticking out so that it pokes you. Spin it here. And get the edge right over to the bottom. Then bring it down, bring it back up a little bit. You can tear that. And then that part will be finished. Now all we have to do, place everything back to where you had arranged it, which is on this side, and then we get the little flowers underneath, over here. And then we just have to trim the edge of the ribbon. And there's your corsage. Now, if you want to make it a wristlet, you can buy these, these 
elastic with this metal band that you attach to the back of the stem. It's really not hard. Um, it can be a little awkward, but just kind of place it in there and bend it. And then we do the same on the other side. Kind of fold it over. Fold this side over in the back here. And, uh, and that will flatten those edges. And then you have your wristlet. And there you have very simple corsage. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share Gracie Designs. Thank you.